You'll learn how to add graphic elements, use the Remove Image Background feature, add cue cards, record a video with Canva, use the Remove Video Background feature, crop a video, add audio, share a view-only link, and download a presentation as a video. So let's begin with a Halloween scene. I'm going to add another slide here, and then I'm going to go to Elements, and then I'm going to go to Halloween. And then I'll create a nice Halloween scene. I think I'm going to choose this one with the video in it. And I'll just make it a little bigger. All right, so we have bats there. I think I'm going to go to graphics. And then I'm going to put in a cat. I type in cat. And I can get one that's animated or I can just get one that is static. This one's a little cute. I'll put that right here. So I can decorate my scene any way that I like. I could put in maybe a monster. And then I will continue decorating my scene. So now I've created my scene. Now I'd like to put myself into the presentation. So I'm going to add another slide, another page for a working area. I am going to go to uploads and I'm going to take an image of myself that I already uploaded and I'm going to bring it over here. Then I'm going to click Edit Image, and I'm going to click the Background Remover. And then you'll see that it will remove all the background around my head. Now we still have some of this top right here. So I can press Erase, and I can make this a little bigger, and I can erase this. And if you need to restore something, you can press Restore, and you can put it back. Now that I'm done with that, I will press Done. And so I have this head. So now I'm going to put this head onto the werewolf. So now I'm going to right-click Copy, go back to my scene, and right-click Paste, and put my head on top of the werewolf's body. So this is a really fun way to immerse yourself into your presentations, just by adding your head onto different bodies. I'm going to use the same technique and instead of just making an image on top of a body, I'm going to record a video on top of a body. So I'm going to make myself into this witch. So let me move this little zombie over here. Okay, let me go to edit image and background remover and that will give me the erase feature so I can get rid of the witch's head and replace it with my own head. I do this only because sometimes it's really difficult to get things exactly right. Okay, I'm going to erase her head right here, and I can actually add my hat later on if I wanted to. I'm going to erase the head, and this way I don't have to worry about getting my video exactly centered on her head. And now I press done. Now I'm going to record my video. So I'm going to go again to that working slide. And I'm going to add some text as my cue card. So I'm going to press add a heading. You can add any kind of text box. It could be small, large, it could be any color because we're not going to use these things. We're just using this as a workspace. So I'm going to type in here, Happy Halloween. So this way I can read the script without having to look down at my paper. This will increase confidence in your students. Again, happy Halloween. Okay, now I'm going to record my video. So I'm going to go to Uploads, Record Yourself. And now you can see that I'm in the video. I can move my head over here. I can also put in a filter as I'm recording. I can also add effects as I'm recording. I can also make it a square. I can flip it. And if I just wanted my voice, I could turn the camera off. I'm going to turn it on because I want to actually have my head over the witch's body. So now I'm going to record. I'm going to make it, I'm going to center myself, and then I'm going to record. Again, I'm using this cue card right over here that no one will ever see because we're going to erase the slide.
Happy Halloween! You press done when you're done. And then I press save and exit. Happy Halloween! Now again, I'm in my workspace. Move this over, move this over, and I make this as large as possible. And I want to get just the head. So I'm going to go to crop Happy Halloween. and I'm going to make it as big as possible. Happy Halloween. Get my head right in there. Happy Halloween. Okay, that's pretty good. I'll press done. Now we see there's a little gray here. So now we're going to remove the video background. I'm going to click edit video. And now we have a video background Happy remover. Halloween. And I will click that. Happy and it will take a little while. You can see how it tells you what percentage is done. And it will remove the background. You don't need a green screen, but it is easier if you have a, a full color background behind you instead of a cluttered background. So try to find a blank wall or put up a tab tablecloth. And you'll see it's pretty good. So now again, this is our working slide. I'm going to take this, go to copy, and I'm going to put it over the witch right here. And then I'm going to make it smaller so it fits right over that head. Happy Halloween. Now I do need a witch's hat. So let me go here and let me look for a witch's hat because I did remove that hat. I like this one right here. So I'm going to make this a little smaller. Whoops. And put it right on my head. Now we need some spooky music. If your audio comes up right here, you can click it. If it doesn't, you might have to click the three dots and say more. I'm going to click the audio here and have some Halloween music. Let's see what we have. Great, that's pretty good. I'm going to take that and I'm going to drag it in. And again, you can see the music and how many slides it goes underneath. And I can even change the volume of that music. Just so you can hear my voice beyond that music. There's audio effects, fade in, fade out, and adjusting. So now we should be all done. Now I'm going to remove those other slides that we don't need. So I'll go to this one, press the dots, and press delete page. We don't need this anymore. I'll press delete page. And then this was our sandbox. We were working on different pieces. Again, I will click the three dots and delete the page. And now let's watch the creation. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. It will keep looping your video to fit the length of this video. If this was a static background, then it wouldn't really matter. But I could shorten this and I could shorten the music with it and it will only loop once or twice. Let's try that again. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Now, to share it, all you would have to do is press share, view only link, and you copy that and you can share it. Or you can press share and you can download it as an MP4 video, and then you could share it that way as well. This is how it looks with a view only link. Happy Halloween.